<laughs> How's it going, Dave? Well, this morning, not too bad out there. We are looking at some high clouds starting to filter in. This is our live look at our summiting camera. And we'll see these from time to time throughout the day today, kind of filtering the sunshine. Here downtown, mostly clear as well from our BJCC camera. Temperatures about 55 degrees, much warmer than the 39 we were yesterday morning at this time. It's 50 in Tuscaloosa, but 43 in Jasper, one of our cold spots there. Gadsden, you're at 44, 45 in Talladega, but 55 Alabaster. Clanton at 56 and 54 from Alex City to over in Aniston. Where some areas are running. We're 16 degrees warmer here, 15 degrees warmer in Clanton. So that nice easterly wind helping to warm us up just a little bit more this morning. A couple clouds off to the east, a few high clouds kind of streaming in as well. Hard to see here, but this is all part of our next weather maker. This area low pressure into Texas. It's going to be diving its way south toward Houston and kind of bouncing its way back to the northeast. As that happens, plenty of rain and storms, even severe weather breaking out near Austin, Texas this morning. We're not going to see severe weather. The coastal areas, though, could as we head to the weekend, but that rain will get here on Saturday. Not today, though. Cloud cover builds in. Temperatures go from 53 at 7 a.m. to 66 degrees by 11 a.m. And highs today about 74 from here back to Asheville and Aniston. 73 Gadsden back to Talladega. 75 Alabaster. Same for you in Jasper with Tuscaloosa 77. Overall, not too bad. Pretty comfortable weather out there for the day today as we stay dry. Now, as mentioned, that system back into Texas will bring us some rain for Saturday. A lot of rain Saturday night into the first half of Sunday before we start dry out. Much of next week, maybe a quick sprinkle there possible heading into Wednesday. So tomorrow you can see much of central Alabama, low chance for rain. That's going to occur late in the day. Better chance the farther west you go, especially as you head over into Mississippi. So here's how it plays out on Futurecast for us. As we go throughout the day today here, plenty of clouds starting to build in. There's that system getting better organized overnight into tomorrow morning. A lot of cloud cover here, but no Notice the bulk of the rain, mostly Arkansas, Louisiana, heading into Mississippi. By 4 o'clock in the afternoon, bulk of those storms still in across Mississippi. A couple over far western Alabama by 4 o'clock, so a lot of the events for the Magic City Classic looking pretty good. Now, as we get to a little bit later on in the evening, that's when some showers will start sneaking on in here. This is 7 p.m. Saturday. Still some bigger storms back into Mississippi, but plan for that as we get to the concert after the uh, football game. We could see a little rain coming into play. Plenty of rain as we get to midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning through 6 a.m. Some heavy downpours possible with this. Nice soaking rain, which would be good for us as well. It has been pretty dry. And by 1 o'clock Sunday, the front's sitting over the area, so church services in the morning may have to dodge a little rain, but the rain will taper off by the afternoon. So for your weekend overall, just a 20% chance of rain 72 tomorrow, 60% chance of rain Sunday. Again, most of it in the morning, 68 degrees the high there. So here's how it breaks down for the Magic City Classic. The parade looks good. Temperatures in the 50s, 69, 70 degrees at tailgate. Kickoff looking good here. Small all chance for a quick sprinkle during the game. That's about it. But for the concert right now, we have 20% chance. But shortly thereafter, I think that's when we could start to see some of that rain coming in. So keep that in mind. If you headed down the Auburn game, taking on Arkansas, big game down there in the Plains, 68 a kickoff, getting to 72, maybe a sprinkle there. Kickoff, of course, is at 11 a.m. And UAB is headed down to South Florida, Boca Raton. How about near 80 degrees for kickoff at 7 p.m. And temperatures hold steady in the upper 70s. Maybe a quick little shower possible for that game, but overall looking pretty good. Now heading on. Into trick or treating for Monday Halloween. Not bad at all. Temperatures in the low 60s as trick or treating starts, and after dark, temperatures fall to the upper 50s. So, still looking pretty good as we head into Monday. So, 74, 72, 68 through the weekend. There again, that rain potential there as we get into Monday for Halloween. 71 and staying in the 70s next week with lows down in the 50s. So, pretty good for the first week of November.